Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the circle in a square granny square. Um, so this is a solid circle consisting of three rounds um, with two rounds that turn it into a square. Um, probably should have brought over a sample of the blanket that I had made, uh, but I didn't. So anyway, um, I've had lots of requests for this pattern since I posted the blanket I was working on on Instagram. Um, you can Google lots of variations of this pattern, but as always, I wanted to change at the beginning and the ends of my rounds just a little bit better, um, just to suit my liking. Um, so this is how I do it. I have here some scrap yarns. Uh, it's a worsted weight yarn, and I'm going to be using my 5 millimeter hook. Um, and I'm going to assume that you know all of your basic stitches so that we can just breeze through it. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Okay, however you do them, don't worry if it doesn't look like mine. And place that on your hook. Now we are going to chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from our hook to create a little center ring that we will be working into. Okay, we're going to work into that ring. Now, there's two ways we can do this. You can just work around this tail here, okay, just work around it once, or if you're like me and absolutely paranoid that your blanket's going to come undone, I'm going to wrap my tail around one more time, just loosely, and so technically I'll have worked my stitches over two of these tails and that prevents me from having to do any sewing at the end, okay? So I'm going to chain two, okay? And that chain two counts as your first double crochet. And I'm going to work 11 double crochets into the center of this ring, making sure that I work over those tails. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So in total, because that chain two was our first stitch, we should have 12 stitches into the center of this ring. And let's go check that. So our chain two counts as your first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. So we're going to join our round by slip stitching into the top of my first double crochet, not into that chain two. Okay. And that's how I do my rounds a little bit differently than most people. Most people would end their round or join their round into the chain, that starting chain, right? But I never do that because look at the gorgeous, invisible round that that then creates, okay? When you go into your chain two, you end up getting little holes and little gaps, and I can't stand it. So I always do mine this way. So we're going to chain two again. And this round, we're going to be increasing. So what we're gonna be doing is working two stitches into the top of every stitch all the way around, okay? So at the end, you should have 24. So I've chained two and, it's, and it counts as your first double crochet. And now I'm going to work another, another double crochet into that same stitch, okay? So that's two in that first stitch. And I'm going to do two more double crochets in each stitch around. I wish I had some of the leftover yarn from the blanket I made. It was so, so beautiful to work with. Would have been nice to show it off on camera. It was from Ravenswood Fiber Co. She's a fellow Canadian. And uh, yeah, I really, really, really love her yarns. So if you haven't seen my blanket, um, check it out. I'll have all of the written instructions 
um, in a blog post. So I haven't done like a full pattern for the blanket because it was just a personal blanket I was working on. But I do have a blog post with these instructions written out and then, you know, you'll be able to see how I did it and you'll be able to see the pictures. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. Now, this stitch right here is technically your slip stitch that you use to join the round. Now, because we don't go into the chain two and we go into our first double crochet over here, I'm going to work two stitches into there because we're counting this, okay? If we don't, you won't, you know, obviously you don't have enough stitches to close up your round. So make sure you get into that slip stitch and work those final two stitches, okay? And then I would just recommend going around and making sure you have 24 stitches. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Perfect. I'm now going to close up my round or finish my round by slip stitching into the top of my double crochet, not into this chain two, okay? One, two, that's my chain two right there. So the top of my double crochet is right here. And it just creates a more closed up, I think a little more neater seam. You don't have that obvious line running the length of your circle. So for the third round of our circle, we're going to chain two, and now we're going to be still working an increase, but it's going to be into every other stitch. So this counts as my first double crochet, and I'm going to double crochet into that same stitch again, okay? but then I'm only going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. Okay, and then two into the next. One into the next. Two, one, two, one, all the way around. And so at the end of this round, you should have 36 stitches. Um, you don't have to go around and count because there's an easier way <laughs> to figure it out. And I'll show you once we get back. I mean, if you're chronic <laughs> and you have to know, then by all means count away. So we're just gonna work our way around here. And if I'm going too fast, pause the video, get caught up. Okay, so I mentioned that you won't have to go around this whole round counting 36 stitches. You'll know if you've done your round correctly if you are ending on a one double crochet, which we're going to put into that slip stitch, okay? So it should be one. You shouldn't be ending on your two double crochets. If you are, then you know you've missed one or skipped one or did two in a row, and you have to go back and <laughs> figure out which one it is. So we're going to join this round by slip stitching into the top of the double crochet, just as in all the previous rounds. And then I'm going to fasten off, okay? And cut my yarn and get ready to do my square rounds. So I'll pull that tight. Now what I do is I take this end and instead of sewing it in on the back, I'm going to weave it into the back loops of the next four or five stitches here. So I just insert my hook into that back loop and just weave it, okay? Into the back loop and weave. Back loop, weave. Back loop, weave. Flip your circle over and then go back the way you came, okay? Working into the now front loops and just weave that. And that prevents me from having to stop and pull out a sewing needle, okay? So that's my circle. You can see where we've joined our rounds just here. And I think 
I think it just looks a little bit tidier than the way most people do them. So I am going to join my yarn, not into this hole where I have my knot, but into the next one, into the next stitch. Okay, and I'm going to grab my next color here. And just drape your next color over the hook, leaving about a five, six inch tail, okay? Pull that yarn through. Yarn over both of the tails and pull through. Drop your one tail, okay, so that you're just holding your working yarn. And then chain one. Now we're going to work another double crochet into the same stitch. And what we're doing in this round is we are turning this into a square, okay? So I've worked two double crochets. I'm going to chain one for my corner, and then I'm going to work two double crochets into the next stitch. Okay, and that's the first corner of your square. Into the next stitch, I'm going to work a half double crochet, into the next stitch, a half double crochet. Making sure that you're working over this tail, okay? When you're holding it back here, work over that tail so you don't have to sew it in. Now I'm going to work oh, a single crochet. I'm gonna do three of them, okay? Across the top. So that creates a nice flat side for you. So we've got your half double crochets and then three single crochets. And now we're gonna head on over to the next corner. So we're gonna do two half double crochets in the next stitches here. So half double crochet, half double crochet, and then we're gonna do two double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, chain one, two double crochets in the next stitch and that creates your second corner, okay? And then we're gonna go half double crochet, half double crochet. I'm still working over this tail on the back. And then we're gonna do our single crochets. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna do my half double crochet half double crochet, and then I'm going to work two double crochets in the same stitch, chain one, two double crochets in the next stitch, and that's your third corner, okay? Let's put that down, have a look at what we've done, okay? See that coming along? <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is cracking, I'm fighting off a bit of a cold, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so now we're going to do our half double crochets in the next two stitches. And then we do single crochets. One, two, three. And then we do half double crochet, half double crochet, two double crochet into the same stitch, chain one two double crochet into the next stitch and that's your fourth corner okay so now we're just working across the top edge of your square here finishing it off half double crochet half double crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet now these next two stitches are tight especially this one <laughs> Okay, we're going to work our half double crochet into the slip stitch, right? So into this one right here. So jam your hook in, okay? Wiggle it back. That's your half double crochet. And then your final half double crochet right into this big space right here, okay? Join your round by slip stitching into the top of your first double crochet, okay? into this one, not your chain two, one, two. So up here, slip stitch. Do not fasten off, okay? We're gonna chain two, and we're going to work a double crochet into that same stitch. And now we're just going to put another round on 
to square it off a little bit more, okay? Now, into this chain one space, I'm going to work two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Okay, that's my first corner. And I'm going to pull these stitches back because I want to get my first double crochet into this stitch in here, which is sometimes forgotten because it gets covered. So make sure you don't forget that one there. And then we're just gonna work double crochets along the top, okay? One double crochet into the top of every stitch all the way across till we get to our next corner. Okay, and in the chain one space of this corner, we're gonna do the same thing we did in the other one. We're gonna work two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Now, to make sure that you have enough stitches across the top, I'm just gonna pull my yarn out here and have a look. Okay, so across the top of each square, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stitches across each side, okay? And that will make sure that you have a nice uniform square. So it's 15 stitches across each side. Remember to pull these back, and we're just gonna do the same thing, work across all double crochets, making sure that we get this stitch, we don't forget about it. Okay. Okay, so we're at our third corner. We're going to do two double crochets. Oops, dropped it. Chain two, two double crochets. And then pull those stitches back. Make sure you get this one in here. When I'm working my squares, I always fold them over just to get more perches on the stitches. And then I remember I'm filming a tutorial and I'm like, oh wait, people probably can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so apologies. <laughs> it feels so foreign to me to have it like laying open. Okay, so we're in our fourth corner here. We are going to work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, and then we work along the top. Here I am scrunching it up again. <laughs> I can't help it. Pull those stitches back. Make sure you don't forget this one in here. It's a sneaky little one. So we're at the end of our round and we're going to work into here. Now, you're going to join your round by slip stitching into the top of here. And if you want to, just before you're done, before you, you know, finish off, if you want to count your stitches. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, 
14, 15. Okay, so we know that we have enough stitches across this last side. Probably didn't screw it up. <laughs> Feel free to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet, not that chain two, and fasten off. Okay. Get this yarn out of the way. So here's our square. Grab your four corners and stretch it out. I'm going to flip it over and cut this little nubby off here like that because we worked over and weaved in all of those along the way which is really nice um there's something you know that's actually the nicest part of this square is that you don't have a ton of ends to sew in and with this one here so i would have all of these motifs done um i'm going to weave this tail into the top of my corner stitches here just like i did in the circle so I weave it into the back loops, okay? And then I actually do another round and I do like a continuous join as you go to join all my squares. Um, and then I just do it the exact same way that I did this last round. So I put two in my corners and chain two to do a joining round. Um, yeah, so I can just weave this in here. I don't have to like worry about sewing in this last tail because it's gonna be worked over in my continuous join. And then I just cut them all off at the end, which is really satisfying. So it's a very easy, easy square and it creates a nice solid blanket. Super awesome for like baby blankets and things you don't want people poking their fingers through. So what have I got here? Let's actually measure it so we can see. And it's almost, so it's like four and a half inches. I would go four and a half inches on this. So it's usually about another inch once you put another full round on here. Each round usually can, makes it an inch bigger. So you would end up with a five and a half inch square, which is pretty decent. So you don't have to make, you know, one million of them to make a decent sized blanket. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Take care. Bye everyone.